His Santi for today got three blaster boxes of the brand new 2021 uh, Allure. So uh, yeah, these run about 35, 40 bucks. You can get them for at a card store. I think these will be around 50 at Walmart. They were 50 last year, I believe. So uh, I I just suggest getting them at a card store. It's cheaper in your sporting card store. It's better that way. So. Yeah, it comes with five packs per box, six cards per pack. You're looking for two short print rookies cards per box. I don't really care for those, though, since they're E-Pack. I'm more interested in the uh, yellow taxis. These are the Blaster Box exclusive. Uh, you get five of them per. And there's also the chance at Orange Slice in here, which are also retail exclusive this year. And White Diamonds, which are out of 40. Uh, I believe those are also in here. I don't. They don't say on the box, but I believe they're also in here. So, yes, let's get into it. This year's allure. I like the design. Uh, I know some people aren't too fond of it, but it's uh, far better than last year's. Uh, I hated last year's design, as you can see up top there. Definitely a copy of 1819 Select Concourse Base, but. Yeah, and it looked terrible, just I don't like the look of last year's. It looks like gold metallic stuff. It's supposed to look metallic, it looks like plastic. I hated it, but the product was actually good, and I think uh, this stuff's also decent. I like the value. Uh, before it hit E-Pack, it was pretty good, and the retail stuff sold very well. So uh, that's why I'm here by uh, busting uh, three blaster boxes. So we start off with a Bone Byram rookie with dust all over it. Well, it's not like that for every card, but oh man, the surface on that's pretty bad. Whatever, probably get a couple of these. The base rookies are very common, and the good players sold very well last year. Uh, not super high, but a lot of them sold. At least I sold a lot of them. Crosby. Yeah, the base are pretty nice. I like them. Dustin Brown. Got a short print rookie of Victor Soderstrom. Sort of got a blue tint to it. They're okay. I actually like this design better than the uh, base, minus the blue. Patrick Kane and our first yellow taxi blaster exclusive is a Mark Giordano. That's okay, not the greatest name, but... I'll always take some uh, retail exclusive parallels because they do sell well on compc.com. That's where I sell all of my cards. So always happy to get retail exclusive stuff. Except SP. SP sells terribly. I hate that product. Nick Bodan, rookie. Here's the back of the card, by the way. Once again, much nicer than last year. Last year, the back was terrible. The front was terrible. The back was terrible. Nothing about it was very nice. And a grand entrance of Tyler Benson. These are nice too. Have a good look. I like the uh, gold sort of look it has to them. It's pretty cool. And, uh, ooh, that's nice. Lafreniere. Oops. <laughs> Lafreniere, uh, yellow taxi. It's probably a pretty good card. Uh, of course, with everyone loving chrome cards these days, this should sell pretty well. I'm happy with that. I didn't damage it, don't worry. It's fine. Got a nice soft box of a playbook that the cards will not get damaged if they fall on. All right, carry price. Lilligren, rookie. Mark Stone. Nick Suzuki, may as well go to it. John Tavares, Yellow Taxi, and a black rainbow of Patrick Kane. I'm not sure how rare these are. I think these are just like the regular rainbow cards this year, but they look pretty cool. Look better on camera than they do in person, but they're pretty nice. Can't get autographs and jerseys in here, although they're somewhat tough. They're both over... Uh, 1 in 100 pack odds, so chances of finding one aren't very high. Uh, Bellows, 
SP, and a Lilligren Yellow Taxi. Last pack of Blaster 1. Ravsov, Rookie, Brin Cat, Kale McCarr. Sold quite a few of his cards last year from Allure. Norris, Space Rookie. Got a red rain. Oh, nice. A red rainbow autograph. Peyton Krebs. That's pretty good. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Peyton Krebs, SP, rookie autograph. That was a good box. Man. Uh, dropped it again, but it's okay. Got the uh, soft sheet here, so if I drop anything like I just did, you don't get damaged. Nice card. Some weird stuff going on on the surface. You can see on the Krebs and kind of under the upper deck logo. It's kind of weird, but I'll see if I can get that off. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. And Mark Stone, Yellow Taxi. So, not expecting these uh, two other blasters to be as good as that, but I'm satisfied. I do not have a Krebs autograph yet, and I think he's going to be pretty good, so I'll probably hold on to that one. Actually, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I could probably pick them up for pretty cheap on C once these hit E-Pack. So, we'll see what I decide to do. All right, Sagan. One, two, three. Okay. I thought this card, this pack had an extra card. Another red rainbow. Harley, rookie. Evans, rookie. An SP of Lafreniere. Let's go to the gold taxi. Shesterkin gold taxi. A nice thick stock to these. Uh, they got some weight to them. Not like some of the uh, like Topps Chrome base. You got another autograph? No, we got a Yanni Hackenpaw uh, red rainbow. These aren't numbered. No. Hackenpaw now on. I think he's still with Carolina. I can't remember. He wasn't doing too well on the Ducks, and then he went on Carolina and did pretty good. So, base, base, Kurashev, rookie. Bennington. Got an iced out. These are cool looking cards of uh, Svechnikov. A parallel of that would look cool. And an Aho yellow taxi. And these are good looking cards. The design has definitely improved over last year. The majority of the designs last year, except maybe the winter storm warnings and the iced out, were pretty weak in my opinion. Not this year. Shifley, Marner, Larkin, uh, Matisse, Keith Lennox, SP rookie, Ryan Suter, Black, Rainbow and a rookie, Michael Di Pietro. It's cool, local uh, team. And he's got some weight to them. I can like, you can notice a bit uh, heavier than a standard card. It's my guy Velarde, rookie. Matthews. Yeah, these are nice cards. They're thick, thick stock. Ovechkin and a Huberdo Gold Taxi. Last pack of Blaster 3. Kravtsov. These are very common, the base rookies, but the, the uh, good players still sell for a few bucks each, so at least last year they did. This year might be they might sell for even more just because these cards are chrome. Brinkat, McCarr, their Byram rookie. This one doesn't. Eh, this one's surface isn't great either. Working geeky rookie. You know what? That's why they feel different. You see, some of them have that white. Some of them don't. That's why they feel a little different. I wonder if they're all like that. I'll have to check. If some are and some aren't. It'll be a cool little parallel. Little thing to note. Variation. There's a uh, Carlson yellow taxi. They seem to be all off-center, the yellow taxis, at least the ones that I've noticed. Maybe not, but whatever. We'll still sell. A 
Last blaster. It's been pretty good so far. I'm very pleased. Let's see if we can get a yellow or a white diamond or a orange slice. All right, Kale McCarr. Owen Byram. Sidney Crosby. Yeah, it seems like the last card has the white outline. Feels a little different. Got a rookie black rainbow of Igor Korshkov. Igor Korshkov. Well, he has a one goal per game average, so there's that. And a rookie. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. Gabe Velarde. Yellow taxi. That's a keeper. These look great. Yeah, pulsar uh, pattern. Both pops and community is used. Same with upper deck. All right. Ovechkin. Crafts off again. The Brinkat. Matthews with the white. Very interesting. Wonder why it's done like that. Quinn Hughes Diagnostics. These look good too. Man, these are really nice looking cards. I didn't buy a hobby box of this. At least not yet. I don't plan on it, but these look great. And a Mitch Marner. You know, taxi. That's not bad. Leafs sell. Leafs do sell. Velarde again. Yossi, Rana, Larkin, Shane Bowers, short print rookie, and a Mark Shifley. Yellow Taxi. Yellow Taxis this year are a little more common than last year, I think. I think last year they were two per blaster. This year they're five, so value might go down a bit, but they should still sell well. Very good looking cards. Kershev, rookie. Panarin and a Kurashev uh, yellow taxi and last pack. Let's see if we can come out of here. Tyler Sagan, Thomas Harley, Harley Thomas, Ryan Getzlaff, Bennington, SP of Gage Quinney. And a yellow taxi of Miro Iskinen. So that was pretty good. Uh, yellow tax, that first blaster was nuts. Yellow taxi of uh, Lafreniere. And an autograph of Peyton Krebs. So overall, I'm pleased. These are good looking cards. I, I think this product, at least design wise, has improved over last year significantly. Um, yeah, a lot more parallels, a lot more fun stuff. Designs much better. I think this, uh, I haven't opened hobby, I haven't checked out much hobby yet, but so far I'd say this is an improvement over last year. And last year, before it hit EPAC, it was uh, not too bad either, I thought. So that is it. Thanks for watching. I like this stuff. I'd pick it up from your local card store if I were you. Uh, yeah, goodbye.